everyone jay shri mata ji let's mata take a bandando and collectively raise our kundalinis and put on a bandhan Let us set a lot of tension on the Mungadhar. Mother you who are Sri Ganesha, please let your lotus feet reside on my Mungadhar. Please let the essence of Sri Ganesha be established on all the chakras of my subtle system. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move our attention to the left Muladha. The right hand on Mother Earth. our attention, that's all on top of our head, watching the left Muladha on our wrist of our left hand. Father, I am in Our attention to the center of our heart, both our hands on our lap. The quest in our hearts and the prayer. Father, please make me innocent. To say the mantra, Shri Gauri, Ganesha Gauri. Mother Earth, attention on top of the sun star, just watching our right Muladhar on our wrist, on our palm. The quest, humanity, destroy all the evil in me, all the negativity. That's hindering my ascent, my spiritual ascent. Mother, please make me worthy of your appreciation. Oh, for me, my 
साक्षात श्री कार्तिके साक्षात सर्व राक्षस हंसी साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जे श्री निर्मला जय नमो Oscar, Natalie, come here. Join hands with Dania. Are you all right, Ray? Now, put kumkum to everyone. Just take that. See, bring it that here. All the ladies, put it on. Yesterday, one boy. Stood up and asked me a question. That when we are such a yoga bhumi, we are such a holy country. Why is it that all the discoveries in the science are made in the West? Very good question, I see. I said, that is the knowledge of the tree, as I have told. That's the knowledge of the tree. And what have they achieved is now the end of it. And now they want to know the knowledge of the roots. That's why they are here. So to know the knowledge of the roots, first of all, we must have humility about it. We have not known this knowledge, yet never known what is in the kingdom of God. As Krishna has said, this tree grows downward, and the roots are in the brain. Clearly, so it is an ascent to go to the roots. It's a different style. Kundalini has to rise upward to go to the roots, and to enter into the roots. What we have to do is to know about it. Now all these things, like I said yesterday, that you put on, Bindi. Now this is also 
thank God, despite all changes in the Bible, it's written in the Bible, that you'll be known by the mark you'll be carrying. Now let's see how many are courageous even in India to carry this mark. That's why you people catch so fast. One of the reasons why you people catch, first of all, the eyes are not steady. You are not used to the steady eyes. You see, as the Indians have very steady eyes, they are from childhood, they are taught, where is your attention? All the time they are asked, where is your attention? So, where is your attention? Now the attention is so disturbed all the time and that's why you catch very fast and when you catch from your eyes, it goes through your Agya Chakra. Now this is the protection of Agya Chakra, it's actually the blood of Christ that you wear. But people must have that courage, they'll wear a cross, but not this. In the Western countries it's very difficult for people to have that much courage to put on this. They will have excuses, mother will lose our jobs, this, that. Every sort of an excuse is there. But if you are courageous people, then you have to start wearing it sometime. Maybe in the night you start first, then in the daytime. <laughs> slowly, slowly you can creep into it. That's the only thing I think you people have to wear, that's important. That will be a good idea because you will not catch, because you go outside, your attention is outside, you see what's happening outside, the atmosphere is bad. Moreover, if you put this on, it will not only protect you but also protect others. They will have a new idea, after all you will dress up like them, you are just like them, you have to be, but you have to protect and for protection you have to wear something like that. I found that when I went first to England, they used to laugh at me looking at my red mark, I mean, if they wear lipsticks, it's all right. Even if they are clowns, if they are hippies, they are punks, it's all right. But if you wear a proper thing which is scientific, it's more scientific. So to understand the science of the roots, you must understand what it means, why this culture is like this. Because it is more towards the roots. The movement is not towards the tree, and the tree where it has ended up, beyond the Muladhara Chakra. So now they are returning back. To go from the leaf to the roots is very difficult, but to go from the roots to the leaves is easier. So for this as ascent we have to be humble, to know about the knowledge, knowledge about the roots. Now, why they put on all of them is this is the reason. That to protect your Agya, first of all there is no entry. That's why once an, an Indian gets a Realization, he ascends. He doesn't go on catching again. I mean, this doesn't happen here. This is one of the things one has to do. Then the second thing is the puja. <coughs> the puja has its effect on everyone, but according to our depth. And that's for that you have to have Shraddha, faith. If your mind is still thinking, you cannot achieve much in puja. While for Indians, to attend a puja is the highest. They don't mind my lecture, they, anything, if they miss the program, doesn't matter, any music program is all right, any ki kind of discomfort is all right, as long as they can attend to puja. Today people have come from 200 to 300 miles for this puja, all the way. Because they know this is the knowledge of the roots. For that you have to do the puja. If you have to ascend, you have to do it. But you are still in the same level if you are still thinking about the root tree style, then you will go downward. To move inward, you have to have all these instruments, one of them is of puja. Now for puja, are we prepared? Are we in that mind? Whatever time it has to start, we'll start. First of all, we have tied our watches quite tight. Thank God I lost my watch last night. So now the watches have tied us up so much that now eleven o'clock puja means eleven o'clock. It's not like that. It depends on. It is the natural growth of our being. It is the natural working of our growing. When I came here, you'll be amazed, all my right side was paralyzed, absolutely paralyzed. Right foot was paralyzed, I just couldn't move my legs and all the feet had gone had become like a fossilized stuff. 
and I didn't know what was happening. The reason is everybody has been thinking too much. Now the attention should be how we are, what are we doing about ourselves, that's very important. How far we have achieved, but on the contrary the attention is disturbed by many things, one of them may be the marriages, that marriages have to take place, what's going to happen and all. But at puja time it has no meaning, nothing has importance than but to develop yourself. And this is what it is. At this time you have to develop your roots. And to develop your roots, it's a different science altogether. The another thing is that you can achieve the movement of the tree by aggressiveness, by aggressing. But when you aggress in the human mind, then you are drawn towards the muladhara more, towards the gravity force and you go down towards the dead, the materialism starts coming up because it's upside down. Human growth is upside down. You know the brain is here, not at the feet. It starts from the brain. The growth starts from the brain as you know as doctors that the whole thing is here and the nerves go down. They do not start from the feet. So when you start putting your attention to your outward growth, you go towards materialism automatically. Then you find matter has nothing to do, you have fossilized yourself, so then you come back. Now you have to change your attitude completely towards this new learning. And this new learning is that you have to develop a humble attitude, first of all. And secondly, what are we going to achieve in our ascent through learning the different tantra, the mechanism, the divine mechanism? how to work it out. The person who is extremely efficient in the other field might become completely inefficient in this field, absolutely useless, possessed, aggressive, uh, good for nothing, hot-tempered, hot-tempered and uh, also without, devoid of any love, affection, compassion. Like they were shocked to say that, uh, here that people kill their children in England, they couldn't believe it. They can't believe even one child kid like that. They think that English are perfect people. How can they kill their children? They are very perfect according to Indians. Indians have no idea as to what kind of life uh, they lead there. So when I told them, you are sadly mistaken, they are very unhappy people. Don't think that by developing radios and all these things they are happy, they are all mad. They be sit before the television, then they can't do without it. They become televisions and the television is exploiting them, putting wrong ideas into their heads and they are brainwashed, they are very conditioned. They can't believe it. They can't believe that people could be that cruel in the West because the growth is towards materialism. So they are becoming gross, insensitive, immoral and also devoid of any compassion and love. So first of all, as I said yesterday, you said, should say, I'm not French. You should say, I'm not a Westerner. Let's see, that may work out, work out better. I'm not a Westerner. Maybe when you enter a university, supposing you are in Oxford University and then you go to the Cambridge University, you have to wear, be, wear the badge of the Cambridge University in the same way now you have changed your nationality. I think you should say, I'm not a Westerner now anymore. Maybe the passport might say anything, doesn't matter. But you have a special privilege in India, as Sir Yogis, you know that. As Sir Yogis, the government has accepted you. If you want to stay here forever, they'll have no objection. So this, whatever is now, we think works out on the tree level has to be changed. Here everything becomes united, synthesized. The whole tree is synthesized in a seat. So if you have to become the root, you have to come down to the position where, how to synthesize. Now grouping is a wrong thing. If you group yourself as English, this, that, or Indians or anything, is wrong. In Sahaja Yoga, we don't believe in all that. There is no 
differentiation between one Sahaja Yogi and another Sahaja Yogi, because it is Vishwa Dharma. But we say it, it is Vishwa Dharma, but we are not out of it as yet. We are not yet in the same pendol where we should be. We still separate, we are still different, we have to still mix up from one country to another country. We have to all become one with each other, understanding each other. Then only the problems of the West will go away. As a result of this right-sided movement, I feel that people are really becoming idiotic. I categorize them as idiotic or stupid and all that. I mean, I don't know how, what categories they will fall into later on. Well, there have been not, not such categories before. I mean, they might form a new dimension of stupidity. This is what I feel, that unless and until you now learn about this new yantra, the new method, in that you don't see to the physical comfort, you don't see to the so-called emotional pampering, all these things you don't see, but where do you go into innocence? The quality of the matter itself is innocence, the essence. So the quality, I should say, or the essence of everything you become, you become the essence. But for that you have to move inward. And the inward movement is only possible when you understand and respect and think yourself privileged to be able to do all this. But you have to understand why I tell you, I have nothing to gain out of you, now, one should not think I'm trying to make you Indians, but supposing you wear your three-piece suit and a tie, what will happen to you? I mean, you'll all boil, get boils in the body. According to the climate, you have to change, and you enjoy this dress very much because it is very comfortable. You enjoy the river bath, it's very comfortable. In this country, that suits you better. So in the same way, this new life that we are entering in, we have to understand that the outside is not important, the inside is important. And for that, whatever is to be done outside, we have to do it. We have to do it, we have to learn it, we have to understand it, what is this, what is that. Now, because you are a scientist, you are Westerners, you have an advantage over Indians, I should say, or in science, all right. In this science, they have an advantage over you, doesn't matter, it's all right. They chose this place to come in. You chose that place to come in because you are brave people, I think, first of all. And secondly, that you wanted to do, do some good there, maybe. But for that you must learn. Like we say, our scientists here are brave people, that they are trying to learn science, they want to go abroad and learn about it and bring some science to us. In the same way, now you are the ambassadors from all these countries of divinity, ambassadors of divinity. You have to carry divinity because it has been worked out in this country. As you can see clearly, it is so. Accept it, there's nothing to feel bad about it. Because you are attached to a certain nationality and all that, you think there's nothing to feel bad. In India people feel very proud if they have to go abroad to learn science. Even if they are vegetarians, they don't mind doing biology, dissection or anything, because it is science, it is knowledge. So for knowledge sake, you have to do all these things. And once you realize that for knowledge sake you are working it out, is going to help you a lot. This one <coughs> is today's puja, it has a special meaning because yesterday was Datta Jayanti, means the uh, birth of Dattatreya. And you know the story of Dattatreya, most of you know the story of Dattatreya, that Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha tried to uh, take a test of a uh, Shakti called Anasuya. They came to her place and asked her uh, for alms, and it's supposed to be a great privilege in India to give alms to others. To, I mean, it's a great privilege to attend to guests. It's a great privilege to be generous. It's a great privilege to distribute things to others. It's a great privilege. Like yesterday, you see, my sari for this puja was left somewhere out, so I had bought a sari for some lady here. So she said, I would like this sari to be presented at the puja. But I said, I'll return it to you. She said, that's a greater privilege too. They didn't mind. The sari was left out. They said, it's a greater privilege. The attitude. So the attitude is to be changed that so far we are going downward. Now the attitude should be upward. And for that, we have to understand the 
method by which we are going to climb up. Like you have to go to the mountains, you must know how to do the mountaineering. You cannot just take uh, yourself, now I'm going to Himalayas. Nobody will allow you. So one has to qualify, and in qualifying, you have to have that humility, otherwise it won't work out. So I have to make a very clear statement that you change your nationality from the worldly nationality to the heavenly nationality. And there, whatever is needed, we'll be doing it, we'll be accepting it, we'll be managing it. For that, you don't have to change uh, anything like that, but you have to transform yourself into a new personality. New personality, where you are safe. Now, just see, putting on that, how much agya has come down. Just see. My foot was paralyzed, absolutely paralyzed when I walked in. I couldn't walk. I didn't know how I was going to take bath. I had to massage it and then it came down. So just see putting that, just see that, how powerful it is. See, vibration started flowing. But people are somehow in the West very much frightened that they will lose their nationality. I mean, because, I, I feel, because the way they went all out to destroy all the world and destroy them and put their own nationality on others. If you go to America, I, yesterday I said, thank God Columbus did not go to India. He went. I said, thank God Hanumana pushed him on the other side. <laughs> Otherwise, we all would have been finished here. This, you see, poor man, he didn't want to do all that, but all those who followed him just went and finished. You can't find one Aboriginal, one person from those old Indians in Argentina. I went to Argentina. They said in the museum you can find them. Just imagine. Not only Argentina, but also other places uh, like I went to Chile. Not a single person. Only in Bolivia I found some of them. That's all. But it is such a mixture there too, because I think the people ran away to the hills and managed themselves. And whatever picture they have put about them, as if they are the cruel, poor things, they are being all killed absolutely by white men, no doubt about it. It's horrible to go and kill others, go into their land, occupy, because you have got machinery, everything, you can kill all of them. All this has been done. Now we are entering into a new era where we have to love, we don't have to aggress, we have to embrace. This is another era, altogether. That aggression of Napoleon is over now. It's a new thing we have started, into another one, when we have to get more people. We have to synthesize the whole thing. And when you aggress, you start analyzing. Nothing to analyze. Are you feeling better now? put on little bigger one. See, you have a big forehead, then put on big, very big, why to put little small one it's on her head? <coughs> fashion should not be done in, all, in these things. There should be no fashioning as far as your religious duties are concerned. You should not. There's nothing like fashion. Fashion is a human affair. It's not divine. Look at these trees. Well, how do they fashion themselves? Towards the sun. Every leaf is exposed to the sun, every leaf, because it has to get a chlorophyll, it has to get the power of the sun in itself. So the every leaf is towards the sun. They don't do any fashions, do they? So another point is the individualism that is started in the West is nonsense. To show off that I am something different, you become stupid. But to be one with everyone is the real individualism, I think. To be like everyone is the best. It's very difficult, it's very difficult to become one with everyone, because ego is so much. Some people have ego which hurts others and some have whose ego is hurt, both just the same. So to overcome all these things, forget about that kind of attitude of descending downward. But for the ascent, whatever is required is you look upward to God, look upward to Him with complete faith, shraddha, 
then I don't have to touch you. You need not see me. It exists everywhere. You can get the blessings everywhere. Don't have to do anything special for it. Just that Shraddha. But for that certain mechanisms are to be put right, especially the Agya needs repairs quite a lot. <laughs> that wheel is out of gear and that must be put right. Mr. Patankar was yesterday was rather <laughs> angry with the so-called educated people. They are educated in English language, that's the problem. The language is like that. They think no end of themselves. He said, they didn't touch your feet. If they learn English language, they will not touch my feet. Because in English language, touching the feet is regarded as something horrible, I think. That's why he felt very sad about it. But this is all architecture has come from England, everything has come from Germany or from France. Our telephones have come from France. No wonder they work like this. <laughs> it's all the French who brought this, and again they have got a big... I don't know, I, I made Rajiv Gandhi I'll say, tell him that at least don't give telephones to French. It's, they has given such a big, very big order to the French. And now the helicopters they are buying from England, thank God they have stopped it. God knows what will happen to the helicopters coming down in India, from England. Like that, you see, they now are depending on the third world for their progress, because they can't, don't know where to send their own things which are created by their machines. But the way they do it, I mean, just imagine the kind of phones we have here, all done by French, not Indians. Why blame the Indians for that? It's done by the French, horrid. They have been like this since long, uh, and they are just the same. And again now we have given order to the French, because we thought only French can cure the French telephones. I don't know what they are going to do, any justice to us or not. So, as that machine is to be worked out, our own machine is to be worked out, and that machine is gone downward, let us raise it up, upward towards God, in surrender, in understanding, because you are specially chosen people in that area, like the lotuses, you have to come out of the mud and don't embed yourself in the mud more and more. Try to push yourself out of that, so that the fragrance of divinity will spread in that mud and make the whole of that Western world a beautiful place, beautiful place. Whatever has been done, is done. I know one thing, without forgiveness nothing is going to work out. Done, is done. Or is human, doesn't matter. Whatever is done, is done. Whatever they have done, is done. It's all right. Forgive them. Forgiveness is the only way they can come up. And when they are forgiven, they have to also realize now that we have to rise. Because the world they have created has really ruined themselves. If they rise, now the whole place can become fragrant, as I told you, like the lotus that comes out of the mud. It's a very wrong idea people have here about the West, that you are the happiest people living around. So it is better that we <coughs> tell them that, no, we are not happy there. You, what you have got is something precious. They also try to follow you, and that following going so far that maybe one day you will have to come and teach them Sahaja because they are on the other side of the circle, they are now trying to learn English, master English language and becoming Saabs. They will come out with tail coats and you will have to tell them that better wear your dresses. So we should be wise, we should be sensible. And the stupidity and the silly temperament that we have developed, we should give up. Suddenly people bubble out, I see that. You see, there is no balance. The maturity shows when you have a balance, you should be happy, I know, but all the time smiling, putting up a show, or sort of suddenly coming out with funny remarks, and silly remarks, shows you are not matured enough, you have to mature. In Sahaja Yoga you mature, and if you do not mature, then you, Sahaja Yoga has done no good to you. So you have to be very, very careful about that part. I hope I have been able to tell you all about it. Atta, tumhala kai तुमची स्तुतीच करत होते सगळ्यांना सगळ्यांच्या जवळ तुमची मी स्तुती करते की तुम्ही मूर्खासारखे वागू नका असं त्यांना सांगते मी तेव्हा तुम्हाला तसं सांगायचं की तुम्ही यांचं अंधानुकरण करायचं नाही
Father, please give me the strength to introspect and to change. Please give me the strength to forgive and surrender.
God bless you all. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. collectively raise our kundalini and bring ourselves in a bhangarati. Let us put a bandhan for all the negativity of war, the Israel-Gaza war, the Ukraine-Russian war to be finished, all the negativity attacking humanity. Destroy the wars. To destroy wishing all our brothers and sisters happy Bhai Duj today, the fifth day of Diwali. Uh, may Sri Ganesha's innocence be established within us. May all the darkness, all the negativities be removed. May we always be in the loving protection of Sri Mataji's Bandhan. with her presence established in our hearts, reflecting the love and joy of our spirit and its integration with Sadashiva and Asahasra. Have a great day, everyone. Please do um, continue sitting for meditation. Your heart so wishes. <laughs>